Welcome, guys. Well, got some good news on a lawnmower here. The RC lawnmower. I have my CIM motors. I have my Andy Mark gearbox. I was able to mount that this evening and uh, did some testing tonight. And the results were promising. Um, this motor combination with the gearbox uh, performed very well. In fact, it performed well enough that uh, the reel was able to throw the grass out the front regardless of the uh, back plate not being there. So uh, we're looking pretty good here. Um, so you notice that uh, I'm still running this uh, with a uh, solenoid. Uh, I'm going to be changing that out to electronic ESC. Uh, I also added batteries, uh, sealed lead acid batteries. Um, now that uh, this is a all, all 12 volt system, I will be looking at the uh, drain, how much current these motors pull, uh, to assess whether or not I'm going to keep a separate system or or link them. But uh, these motors t seem to be a bit more efficient than the other ones, so we'll probably uh, be linking the system. And. Uh, once we get the SC in place, we'll probably be looking at adding the battery rack on top. By the time I'm done, I'll probably have up to 36 amp hours of power on this guy. We'll uh, see how that works out. That just might be overkill um, for these motors because uh, they seem to be running very well. Um, for example, temperature reading on the uh, these motors reached about 82 degrees max within the same time amount of time that I ran these mo that motor uh, it that motor reached 125 degrees where these were at 82 so um, it's looking good for efficiency so we'll probably have a uh, total system um, we're going to be adding the back plate and doing some more testing, see how far it really throws the grass. Um, doing some additional programming to add the ESC, and uh, we'll see where that gets us. Okay, last night's results were promising. Uh, what I've done is I've got my gearbox and two motors under there now. Back plate is in so far. Um, like I said, last night's results were uh, promising, so like this, this is going to work out. Um, as far as power usage, I'm um, at 36 amp hours uh, of life. Maybe a bit much, but uh, we'll see um, as we run it. So like I said, uh, the, I'm using a speed control here for a softer start on the main motors. Uh, however, I still need a switch to uh, put between that and the power, power source. So uh, Controls remain the same, get some rework. So at uh, the uh, speed control, um, nothing real change, no real change there. But I think I might capitalize on the space under here. Um, I may rework this so I can mount the batteries underneath and put a tray or something in there for the batteries. I think that's going to work out a lot better. It leaves me a uh, deck space. Um, light is there for the uh, test I did last night. And the results are somewhat promising. So we'll do some more on the lawn out there today and uh, figure out how we can make a catch for this thing. Alright, here we go again. Uh, camera boy is asleep, so I'm going to attempt to do this by myself again if he doesn't show up. Um, here we go.
you ass heavy. Okay, here we are uh, a few hours after the lean back episode. Um, so I removed the batteries. I um, removed the batteries from the top since the back plate is in and I'm um, able to um, push the grass out the front. I went ahead and capitalized on that space underneath and mounted the batteries. Now I have to create some type of case for it so I don't get too jacked up under there. But uh, that's where the batteries are now. We're going to go ahead and finish up the lawn. Uh, temperature reading on these motors is like awesome. I uh, did most of it on already and uh, didn't even exceed 100, I mean, didn't exceed 85 degrees. So, we're going to go ahead and finish up. So, another thing I did is I rigged it for a quick stop for emergencies on the blade. So, ramp up. Abrupt stop. Right, here we go. So here's the unit after doing the lawn. I'm very pleased. It only reached a max temperature of about 95 degrees. Uh, that was completing the lawn. I even went over areas that were partially done. So it's pretty much almost a complete job. 90 degrees. Uh, I threw some paint on the some primer on the wheel covers for now. Uh, the glare off of those things was just awesome it's just too much um, so I just threw some paint on there for right now probably breaking this down for some type of paint job and clean up so it looks a little bit better um, so right now it's pretty much the final stages of uh, tuning and refining basically so 
Uh, that's the RC lawnmower for you guys. Thank you.